My name is Maka Suarez, and I work with the PAH, the Platform for People Affected by Mortgages, um, which was born in Barcelona, but exists currently all throughout Spain. The main human right um, battle that we are uh, involved in is, is the right to housing. And the current problem has come from a series of policies that have put housing not um, as a right, but as a commodity. And this is our um, main critique as a movement that we are making since we are trying to defend that housing should be a right for everybody. Um, in Spain currently, uh, the biggest problem is as a result of the housing crisis. So this housing bubble that created um, an illusion of an economical progress. Um, many people got into debts um, and a very similar process to the subprime mortgage lending crisis of the US happened in Spain. And as a result, um, thousands of families have been foreclosed and evicted from their homes while remaining indebted. So that was the main problem that we faced um, around 2008, 2009. Um, and currently, this is resulting in a series of problems for accessing um, housing. The PAH was founded um, in Barcelona in 2009 to start um, a movement against the problem of housing. So because of the need to access housing that couldn't be satisfied um, by the current economic model, we were denouncing that the situation was one of a housing bubble and that um, a great number of families would be affected. Um, I don't think that the PAH even itself imagined that the problem was be, would be as big as it has turned out to be, where hundreds of thousands of families are being affected daily by um, a series of policies that have been preventing people from accessing housing. So our main um, goals have been to denounce the situation and also to demand solutions, which are completely possible um, at this stage. One of the things that the PAH is um, doing, and probably what can be summarized as its main three goals, is um, it's asking for the cancellation of mortgage debts upon uh, property handover uh, and repossession by the bank. We are asking a stop to all evictions, where it is the only house that the family has and it's the place where they live. Um, and we are asking that there's an increase of social housing um, throughout the Spain. So currently Spain has about 1% social housing, whereas, for example, compared to the Netherlands, you have about 35% social housing. So this is a dramatic difference within the EU context. Um, and at the same time, you have in Spain about 3.4 million empty properties, which um, are a result of the overconstruction that happened during the housing bubble. Um, Many of the banks in Spain have been bailed out with taxpayers' money, and so the PAH demands that these houses that um, belong to banks, particularly those bailed out by the government, um, turn their properties to the public institutions that can manage them and convert those into social housing. So this is one of um, also our demands. The PAH is a citizens' movement, and um, the basic way in which it works is through assemblies. Uh, we don't do a private or individual um, help, but we do group uh, um, help and information. So through general, to, through assemblies that happen um, weekly, often daily, um, people learn from each other um, who have been going through the process already. And um, the idea is to share information on what can be done, both legally and, when not possible, legally through direct actions um, to safeguard housing rights. So um, one of the main problems that we face in Spain 
is that Spanish mortgage law um, has a series of anomalies, of which probably the most unfair and unjust one is that even though you lose your house after default and repossession by a bank, you do not lose your debt. So you continue to be indebted for a property you no longer um, have. So you don't keep the full amount of the debt, but um, it is very frequent that people will be indebted after being having lost their properties for around 100,000 euros, um, which is uh, an extremely high amount um, when we are talking also about people with um, lower income segments of the population. So people are effectively uh, unemployed, homeless, or have lost their properties, and are, on top of that, indebted. Strangely enough, um, when the PAH started, what we were expecting is that a lot of people that would come to the PAH would be enraged and um, wanting to find a, a solution out of rage more than anything else. But in reality, what happened is that a lot of people um, felt guilty because uh, there is this feeling that um, all debts should be paid no matter what, or this sense of duty with um, financial debts that made people feel shameful of what they were facing. So one of the first challenges that the PAH had um, was to face this um, feeling of shame and turn that into empowerment, which I think has been one of our biggest successes because people, um, after going through the process of assemblies and participating with others, conducting direct actions, which are not things that um, many of them had done before. This is not a movement that has been founded on a vast number of activists. It has rather been people from everyday walks of life that have come together um, facing a similar problem or a similar struggle and deciding that um, it was enough and that we needed to change things. The reason why I am working with this particular cause is that, first of all, I believe in housing as a right. Um, I do not think that uh, it becoming a commodity will benefit the majority of us. So I think it's um, something that uh, we need to continue to defend and demand that it becomes something that we can access fairly. Um, I am also an anthropologist and I am of Ecuadorian origin. And um, when I went to an assembly four years ago of the PAH, the number of Ecuadorians who were attending the PAH was extremely high. Um, they were one of the groups that were most affected by the crisis in Spain. Um, and I think this touched me at a personal level where I wanted to uh, continue both documenting it as um, an anthropologist as well as an activist. One of the main things that we are facing is um, the naturalization of indebtedness as something that is um, natural, right? So it's just um, the violence that is behind an indebtedness process, especially an over-indebtedness among um, low-income populations, uh, is being sometimes seen as natural, and um, that has become a problem. We are also facing, and unfortunately mainly from the central government in Spain, um, a response to our protests and our direct actions uh, with a very heavy fines, which have recently been passed um, as a new law that will be punishing protest, public protest, um, as well as uh, many of the demonstrations that we do. Uh, for example, we have one of our most common campaigns has been stopping evictions at the door. So if the eviction is going to take place, we stand at a door, um, not allowing the Judicial Commission to come in, nor the police or anyone who may come. And if they are going to come, they are have, going to have to forcibly re remove us. Um, and this has been a very positive campaign because it visualizes the problem of evictions and it also makes the family that is going to be evicted feel accompanied so that they know they are not alone facing um, this terrible process that is going to happen. Um, and this kind of protest has now been um, fined or, or can be fined um, with about half a million euros. Um, so they are 
completely disproportionate to what we are doing. So for defending a right, which is even contemplated within the Spanish constitution, which in its article 47 um, defends housing as a right, um, for defending that, we are being um, charged and fined or imprisoned for uh, doing that. So I think that the move from the central government has been towards making things more difficult rather than making things um, better for everyone. I think that one of our biggest victories throughout the whole of Spain um, has been the recuperation of empty buildings that are in the hands of banks, um, particularly those that have been bailed out by government, which the PAH has um, taken under what it's called its Obra Social campaign. So it basically means um, a scheme through which we force uh, buildings that have usually been empty for many years, uh, we take them and we use them for families that have no other alternative for housing. And at this point, there have been 35 buildings in Spain which have been taken over by the PAH and used to house more than 2,000 um, people, uh, many of which are children, families, and uh, this has been an extremely successful campaign and something that we are very happy to have been able to accomplish um, because it provides housing with its um, natural use, which is to have people living in them and not houses um, sitting empty. <laughs>